No, I, I, I don't want to call. I don't want. I don't want to talk about this. I. I. Oh, I really hate this story. But a lot of people keep asking me because uh, it's back in the news again. So I guess I got to talk about Royal Caribbean being sued. So first off, once again, we're talking about the poor young child that was dropped from a Royal Caribbean ship to the deck below. Uh, as we all know, the grandfather has now been charged for criminal negligence and now the family has officially launched their lawsuit uh, on Royal Caribbean, stating that they, the ship is unsafe um, that the windows have can be opened by anybody because they're sliding windows with no locks on them and that there was no signs on the glass saying warning this is dangerous so they're suing Royal Caribbean and first off I don't want to put any shame or shade or anything towards this family because not one of us can possibly know what they're going through at all. Yeah, for, this is just a horrific, horrific story. Uh, but I keep at getting asked for my opinion, so that's what I will give. This is strictly my opinion based on the facts as we know it so far. So. Both the prosecution and the defense have now seen the video surveillance tape. The prosecution saw fit through the video evidence and talking to passenger, fellow passengers on board to charge the grandfather with criminal negligence. The family saw fit to charge the cruise ship for you know their part in this tragic story. And let's let's just to say that's all it is. It's a, it's a tragic story. Um, after the grandfather was charged, uh, there were numerous interviews with the gentleman and he's absolutely right. He said that nothing the courts or the law can do to him is worse than what's already happened. And I totally get that. If anything happened to my granddaughter and I was involved in any way, I would hold myself responsible for the rest of my life and live with that no matter what. No matter what, whether I was just driving a car and somebody cut in front of me and we had an accident, it would be on me the rest of my life. So I absolutely agree with all that situation. People are back and forth on whether or not he should be charged, thinking he's gone through too much already. And I can see that point as well. But you also have to see the court side that you can't say somebody is gone through enough stuff if they're willing to live it again in court to go through a lawsuit for monetary gains. And the family is adamant. The family is adamant that this is nothing to do with money. This is about, you know, getting the word out so this doesn't happen again. So here's the problem I have with that. And again, only my opinion, guys. I can only go by my own personal experience on cruise ships. Um, this is the first time I've heard of this kind of story. Ever. Cruise ships have been around 50 years, 60 years, and this is the first time it's ever happened. Do at what point do we not do we start taking our, our own responsibility for it? Uh, warning signs. Uh, you know, we can't put a warning sign on life. Uh, that's kind of what I think. Now. I've also been on many Royal Caribbean ships. I've been on other cruise lines that have the windows open on these upper decks. And to be honest, in my opinion, no matter if it's no wind, 150 degrees, freezing cold out, blowing, blustery, nighttime, daytime, they're really, I find it hard to understand how you don't see that that window is open. Um, 
I can tell that window's open from 50 feet away. Um, and I and I'm partially blind in my eyes. So I, I, that's the part that yes, the window's open. Yes, it was left open on purpose. Do you need to put a warning sign up there saying there's windows? It's not like it's the ground window that anyone can walk over. You had to purposely lift somebody up that high and set them down and I just I just don't I just don't see this ending well again for the family. I think they're going to go through all this for naught and I think they're just going to incur more more bills. Uh, I really do and I uh, it's to go back to court over and over to have to watch that video in court. Um Hopefully, I really do hope there's a gag order on that video to the point where it cannot be shown to the public because I don't want to see it. Um, but if this truly is about getting the word out there, then I think it's already done. I think pretty much everybody in the cruising industry knows about this story. And nobody's going to look at those railings and windows again without thinking of that story, especially if you have kids. So mission already accomplished. That's kind of where I go with that. One of the other things is uh, the grandfather comes out and in his statement after the, the filing of the lawsuit was, you know, I don't want any money from them. I don't want any money. I just want them to fix the ship. Fix the ship. I don't think the ship is broken. I I don't think it's a huge danger. It's just like balconies on a cruise ship. It's only a danger when somebody puts something in danger or yourself in danger or someone else in danger. It's not a danger to sit on your balcony. It is a danger to sit on the railing of your balcony. Do we remove all balconies now? Do we make them 10 feet tall that you can't climb them? Do you put signs in the balcony, the big sign, maybe a neon sign saying, caution, you may fall over if you lean too far over. Uh, at what point is it no longer responsibility of design that seems safe and has been safe for 50 years to the point where it's now our fault for doing something? If I climb out on my balcony to take a selfie and I fall down, it's not the cruise line's fault that the balcony's not high enough. It's my fault for climbing over the balcony. And again, I know, you know, I've, I've lost somebody in my life that I wasn't expecting, someone very, very close to tragic circumstances. And all I kept thinking in my head is, it's not real. How can I stop this from happening? What can I possibly do in the future? Are the warning signs, did I not know enough? All this sort of thing. And the truth is, that person caused it to themselves. And I think that might be the case here. And again, that's only my opinion based on my own experiences. And I've seen these things in person. I, I, I've been in all kinds of weather, all kinds of different cruise ships, different places, and at no point did I ever not think those windows were open. And I know the grandfather was saying, he, you know, he's colorblind, that may have had something to do with it. Well, I'm, I'm almost completely blind, you know, very poor eyesight in my right eye, I'm blind in my left eye. So if anyone is not going to see that, it's pretty much me. I don't even have death perception. Um, so, yet... To be honest, if you've been on a cruise ship before and you've seen those open windows, at any point did you not think those windows were open? I, I, I don't, I don't think you did. So that's where I, I, I stand right now in anything that I've seen. And again, I hope I don't see that video. I don't want to see that video. Um, but I, I'm, a, I'm hoping this family doesn't get into a huge amount of debt because of this lawsuit. I hope the lawyers are doing this on a contingency basis, that they only get paid if they win. That's the only way I would do this lawsuit because uh, the facts probably aren't going to weigh out in their favor. I've talked to numerous clients of mine and uh, friends of the channel that are 
proficient in law, they're lawyers, they're, one of them's a judge, and based on what they've seen in the facts, this is going to be a really big uphill battle for the family. And all I can do is wish them the best. Um, I don't think it's going to do anything, and I hope they don't end up in a ton of trouble and a big financial, and I hope they don't have to live through this over and over and over and over again. At one point, you just have to stop, walk away, and start dealing with the situation. Because it's, it's horrible. And now this is the first Christmas since that's happened. And I understand the daughter would have been two years old now. So there's, like I said, there's nothing good about this story in the least. And I just hope it works out for the family. Um, and maybe there's something in that video evidence that they saw that really show negligence or something. But like I said, I have a feeling it's going to be a very uphill battle. And uh, I just hope they don't end up worse than they already are after this tragic loss. That's my opinion. Again, just by what I've heard and what I've seen and the people I've talked to, it's only an opinion. And it may change in the future if something else comes out. But I'm only going by my own personal experience. And that's all we can all do. In the meantime, I wish this family all the best. And I really do mean that. I hope you appreciate this news update. Uh, I didn't want to do the video, but literally I had a hundred emails asking me to my opinion once the lawsuit was done. So I hope you appreciate the story. If you did, please give it uh, a like. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button and please, everybody out there, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.